Feminist rhetorics are embodied in that they acknowledge the real person behind the scholar by honoring the personal and the political. Okay. That a scholar's voice of a piece is heard, so it, as the academic writing, the source of, uh, of the article will have a certain way that they have a style of writing um, that is unique to that specific person and sort of validates their own experiences as a writer and as, a, as an academic. This embodiment gives voice to participants and validates their experiences. pretty much is when you take a look at a piece of writing or um, something that's spoken or any kind of submission where it gives voice to people that normally don't have voice, people who are normally silenced. So for example, in our world today, people who are oppressed, like people with disabilities, people who are queer, people who um, are identify um, of a different gender that is outside the binary, generally have their voices silenced. So we are using voice as a term um, that it, in this definition, gives voice to the people who are participating in the different issues and also of the author herself or himself. Validating means that an academic feminist rhetoric acknowledges different experiences that individuals might have and portrays them positively and in an accepting light that confirms their it is also situated by recognizing researcher positionality and bias. Positionality is when the scholar or researcher um, acknowledges and recognizes where they come from and what maybe their positions of power are in life or where how their certain life experiences, if you're a white, single, straight female, how that impacts how you view the world. And so when you recognize your positionality, you're recognizing how your life experiences have impacted your research and how you view your participants. These rhetorics are more accessible to various ways of learning through a non-traditional multimodal presentation. Multimodality means using different resources and technologies to portray a uh, meaning that isn't necessarily like the traditional academic paper and makes uh, information more accessible to people with different learning styles and disabilities. Perhaps above all, feminist, feminist rhetorics challenge systems of power and norms. We set up through hegemonic principles by empowering all ways of being. Challenging norms and systems of power means that an article changes how we would look at dominant structures that tell people how they function in everyday life. Uh, an example would be that an article challenges how gender should act or be perceived, otherwise known as gender norms, um, such as a woman doesn't have to be uh, polite and passive, how she could be more assertive in her way of life. That would be an example of a piece challenging different norms that exist in society is honoring and accepting ways of being and living and engaging with the world that may go against the norm. Feminist rhetorics are embodied in that they acknowledge the real person behind the scholar by honoring the personal and the political. This embodiment gives voice to participants and validates their experiences. This is also situated by recognizing researcher positionality and bias. These rhetorics are more accessible to various ways of learning through a non-traditional multimodal presentation. Perhaps above all, feminist rhetorics challenge systems of power and norms set up through hegemonic principles by empowering all